It wouldn't be a true German festival without the beer. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner joins us live this morning with more on the German Folk Festival. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa. If you come out to Row Farm tomorrow from noon to five, you'll be able to try all that German beer that you want as they're going to have a beer garden this year at the uh, German Folk Festival. And I'm here with Keith Sensgard with Side Street, and you're the one that's providing that delicious beer. And so what is going to be out here for people to try? Well, we're doing uh, two of uh, uh, German's oldest beers because the census, you know, for a German fest, we wanted to bring up what the tradition started with. Um, the first one is called a Spaten. It is one of the largest, one of the first German fest beers back Ooh. in the old days. So we figured we might as well kick it off the right way with the first one of the first of the tap beers. And then what's the second one? Because I know that you said you'd have two. Weisenstefan. It's oh. uh, another another old beer back in the back in the old days. So um, it's both of us. It's going to be more of a lager, going to be more of a heavier beer. Which again, that one will be on a draft beer too. We have a draft wagon. Um, so they can come out and have their tap beer for a refreshment. And I know you were saying how, like you said, this is going to be in tap because you can't have bottles, but why not cans? Just the old days, everything in the beginning was made in a bottle. Um, the German imported beers do taste a little bit better in a glass instead of, mm. the, most of them have them in the stein back in the old days too, the big old German stein. Yeah. So um, we figured uh, instead of having a can, which has came out more popular in the last you know, 20, 30 years, we thought we'd do it back in a draft beer, straight from the keg like they used to. I think that's so cool that we're really going back into the heritage and bringing out that traditional German beer, but it's not going to be a festival without the German food as well. We'll show you some of that here in just a few minutes. Sounds great. Abby Furchner reporting live for us. Thank you.